Howdy, welcome to another tutorial. This is a Valorant FPS boosting and latency lowering guide made using what me and my friends use settings wise. This video will demonstrate a Windows computer with both NVIDIA graphics card and I guess it's an Intel CPU. Timestamps will of course be in the description. This guide will help improve your FPS and lower your latency on mid to low end PCs. Even if you have a God level PC, there are some listed in this video well, some things listed in this video that might be helpful to you. Uh, like, there are certain settings you should have on, even if you have the best PC in the world, because it is not about the experience of the game, it's about having the most frames, because that's what gives you the competitive edge. Uh, full disclaimer, unlike other guides I've seen, uh, this guide will not have you install any software, so you don't have to worry about that. Before we get started, because I don't want my intros to exceed two minutes, I ask that you find the time to like and subscribe, and even join the Discord if you want to. That way this video becomes available to more and more people, and you don't miss when I make the next one. Firstly, which should probably be the most obvious, you gotta make sure Valorant is updated. It, it, the moment you open the game and it, it pops up, it'll either start updating or it'll launch. If it launches, you're fully up to date. So you never really have to worry about that. And secondly, you have to make sure your Windows is fully updated. I'm pretty sure mine isn't. All you have to do is type in check for updates or just update as I did. And that will appear. And you see there's, oh, there's a whole update here as well. And once this... Once this is done installing, you can also go here to the optional updates and look at the driver updates. You want to do all of these. You want to update everything, everything that's available. I'm not going to be doing this now for the sake of trying to get this video done in time. Okay, so, um, a little complicated thing I used to do with Counter-Strike, and you should probably do with all games that you have, is first off, this PC, you go, you go to your file explorer, this PC, Windows, Riot Games, Valorant, Live, Valorant. I'll open up the properties, click compatibility, click this, make sure it's checked, go here, and then check this as well. And now apply, click OK, close it, go to shooter game, binaries, Win64, scroll down and do the same thing here, properties, compatibility, check this, check this, make sure you apply it before you close it. Okay, so some quick... Uh, Helpful things, first off, if you have Discord, which I do, you're going to want to disable the, the on-screen notifications. Okay, so you go down here to the overlay, and you just click this, make sure it's off, and it'll get rid of the overlay, and that'll make sure Discord isn't running over everything you have. And if you ever want uh, to make sure Discord's not eating up your frames or your computer in general, just right-click down here, or if it's not down here, it'll appear once you click the up arrow, right-click on it and click Quit Discord, and it will completely close out of Discord, making sure that it is completely closed. Works the same with almost every other application as well. Now, some other things, you want to type in Focus Assist, click there, um, just make sure it's off, go through all of these, make sure all of them are off as well. Don't mess with anything else, just make sure it's all off. Go to game mode settings, you can just type in game, and this will pop up. Make sure that is off, go to Xbox game bar, make sure that is off, all of these are empty. And captures, off. Well, that was laggy. Um, make sure this is on 30, standard, no check there, off, off, 30 minutes, and everything should be fine there now i didn't do this earlier because I, I usually do this daily but i didn't do it for the sake of this video because i knew i was going to make this video type percent temp percent enter and now what i want you to do is you just click Control a on your keyboard and then the, the delete key these files do not matter but look at how much space they take up they literally don't matter at all uh, they're just temporary files they're going to be deleted in the end anyways so you're just saving your computer a lot of space by doing this and performance because they're stacking. There are other places you can go to to delete things, but we're not going to overcomplicate this video. Um, if this pops up, uh, click do this for all current files and click skip. I didn't do that because it bugged for a second there, but that should be okay. Just do that. Now, you're going to want GeForce. I don't know what it's called for, I think it's Radeon, AMD. I don't, know, remember, I don't know what the other graphics card guy is, the other big guy, because I have only ever had NVIDIA's. But you're going to want GeForce, or what the other one is. I'll put a link to both of them in the description. And you're going to want to open it, and you're going to want to make sure it's updated. 100% definitely for sure. Now, I'm not going to open it because it'll show my email, but there should be a thing called drivers, I think, on the top. You click that, you open it, you check for updates. If there's nothing there, you're good. If there is, click the big green button and start updating that driver. 
Okay, next. This is for NVIDIA users, as I mentioned at the start of the video. I just thought I'd help the Radeon fellows out with that last one. Uh, so, NVIDIA Control Panel. Just right-click on your desktop, click NVIDIA Control Panel. It'll open up this big white page. If this pop-up appears, be sure to click yes, because it gives you all the benefits of subscribing to this channel, which includes getting notified when I upload another video. I'm sorry, I just felt like I had to do a super creative segue at some point. Okay, moving on then. I want you to go up here. I want you to make sure you're using the advanced 3D image settings. Just click apply once that's done. Hope that's not lagging out the video. It's not. Now go down to manage 3D settings. Okay. So I know that there are some guides out there that will tell you to turn image sharpening off. I don't do this because it looks just absolutely terrible. So we're going to move straight on from that. We're going to go down here to low latency mode. We're going to put that on ultra. There's uh, other options. You can put it on on. That works too. But I'd recommend ultra. It's what I use. And I found that the majority of like professional players use that. If there is no on, you should probably go ultra. If there is an on, try both. See the difference. Go down to here. Make sure this is selected to your graphics card. It lags a bit in here. Uh, click that instead of auto select See, it lags i don't know why it does that okay so you want to turn this one on and this one on as well and uh, texture filtering quality high performance of course that'll help out your frames instead of helping out your battery and or your pa your power bill which is a big warning this this computer will be taking up a little bit more power than it was before probably not not enough to be noticed however threaded optimizations i would recommend having on auto honestly and uh, now credit if i can there, i got this from a csgo video a couple of years ago so if i can find that video i will link that in the description if i can't i'm terribly sorry but make sure all the settings are set click apply close out of this okay now what i want you to do is now what i want you to do is click graphics and then this will appear graphics settings open it up make sure this is turned on you, you really want to have it on i'm gonna go ahead and remove this for the sake of doing it with you guys all I want you to do is click Browse. You want to do this with every game you play. And here's what we're going to do. We're going to go this PC, C, and we're going to go, where is it at? Riot Games, Valorant, Live, not this one. Shooter game, Binaries, Win64, this one. Click Add, Options, High Performance, Save. And now you can close out of that one. Now, the rest of the settings in this video, well, the rest of the settings featured in this video will be in Valorant itself. Okay, dokie. So, what you want to do is you want to go over here to the COG, but before we get into the actual video settings of the game, I want you to, uh, to click, I think it's Alt-Z. Yes, I don't know, I don't think you can capture this, but I want you to make sure that your game filters are off in GeForce Experience, and uh, that if you have instant replay on, you turn it off. There will be a big button. Alt Shift F10 will turn it on and off in case you you wanted to try it out. That will eat up your performance because it's it's constantly recording and saving your playbacks. So that will definitely eat up your performance if you have it enabled. Usually it's not enabled by default, but maybe you have enabled it and didn't realize what was eating up all your performance. Okay, video settings. Limit FPS on battery? No, no. Honestly, I put all of these on off because it will half your fps down here i play on plus boost there's not i don't think there's any pro players that don't do on plus boost everyone i know does on plus boost if you don't have an nvidia card i'm sorry but you should probably get one they're pretty cool we got ray tracing and stuff but still i would do on plus boost on works well For, ever since this released i was using on until this act i started using on plus boost and i like it a lot more honestly it's personal preference you may not even be able to tell the difference but i've noticed that off is just choppy terrible on is you know you can feel the uh lower latency thing but on plus boost the game is incredibly smooth so play around with it see which one you like you may not like the smoothness of the on plus boost okay multi-threaded rendering yes turn it on everything else off low anti-aliasing none now i know what you're thinking but mister but aren't the lines going to be all pixelated i don't care okay the uh, the lines are not what you should be focusing you should be focusing on playing the video game not looking at the edges of pixels okay right, so turn anti-aliasing off you won't meet a single person that has it on and if they do they're dum-dums maybe shroud because he has super ultra mega gaming pc um, and in this, I have it on one times. I'm pretty sure there's no difference between four and eight. So if you want it, to put it on four. Otherwise, have it on one. Honestly, do not turn any of these on. VSync only on if you're really struggling. But then you probably wouldn't be watching this video if you're using VSync. 
make sure everything else is off all these are low and that should just about do it i hope you enjoyed this video it took a little bit of time to put together um, I fully intend on making more guides and maybe some actual content here in the future. Uh, be sure to follow the Twitch and join the Discord server. I will see you all next time. Adios.